Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create GUI or graphic user interface using WX widget and WX form builder. Okay, so before we can actually use WX form builder, we need to build it. So uh, on a Mac OS, uh, go to github.com WX form builder slash WX form builder and go right through the bottom of the page and there's the formula you can use homebrew to install it so you would, would type in brew install WX, WX Mac boost dip lib bund bundler and then make and that would install home, um, the prerequisite then afterward you would basically want to do a clone of the WX form builder and then build okay so once uh, WX form builder has been built you can launch it and this is what it looks like uh, so the first thing we want to do is create a form so there is common additional data container menu toolbar layout and then form so click on forms then I would click on the first guy here and next thing I want to do is go to the layout and I would choose uh, this layout here because this is the most flexible okay and then next thing I want to do is add like a button or so so I can click on um, OK and I'll drop in the OK button here I can rename my label to OK and I can um, add a input text button so as you can see here if I want to move things around I can do it very simply uh, for example I want to move the button OK to the back of the input the input text button I can do by um, entering the row and column so this will be column um, let's say column 5 and as you can see it swapped the column to 5 you want it to be closer you can do three and it's closer right? two will be closer okay so the next step is to create an event for a particular button so in this case we have a OK button click on that and then click on the event tab then enter uh, a name associating with this uh, button click so you can say on button click um, on OK click right, as the event name as the function name and if you click on the C++ tab you could see that uh, a function you no know, an event has been created for um, that click so after you finish creating the GUI it's time to save the project so you click on save and here I'm gonna try to save it to my desktop so I have a folder called uh, WX widget tutorial save the file so I call this example widget and then click on save the next step is to generate the code so you can click on this here the wheel or press F8 to generate the code so right after we generate the code go to the folder and the software WX form builder will generate two of these files no name 
cpp and no name dot h and the example widget project file that we save okay so use visio studio code and uh, load these two files that is generated by the form builder okay open it up and we're going to need to modify these two files accordingly so first we need to include after the include no name dot h we want to include wx w x w x prec.h and then we need to include an if define free compile uh, wx widget header and an if and save next I'm going to create a my app class so class my app and it's going to inherit WX app and I'm going to go ahead and create a public routine virtual bool on init then save so now I'm gonna implement the my app on init function so I'm gonna type in bool my app on init and in this um, function I'm gonna declare my frame one time sorry my frame pointer new my frame one no which is basically the parent right and no again as my Windows ID and I'm gonna say hello world and I'm gonna create WX point 50 50 and you can see that these basically these are positions of uh, my window size WX size 450 by 340 okay then I'm going to type in WX default frame style as my deframe my um, default frame style Okay, and then I would say frame show true and then return true. So that would complete my implementation for um, the on init function. Okay, so next thing is we want to go to no name.h and change this function here basically which is the on, on OK click and we can comment out this guy and convert this function to just a regular um, on, on OK click okay. and I can move this out of the uh, protected and just paste it to the private 
area right okay so save this next uh, we want to go and copy this function and go over to no name dot cpp and implement it so this should be my frame just like so okay and in this function um, when the user click on OK click uh, I want to set the input box to say hello world and then also bring a pop-up menu so I'm going to type this M con text control set value to hello world and I can say uh, and if I can set the value I can also pull the value as well so wx string str equal this m text control uh, and the function is get value Okay, and to pop up a window showing that string, we could say wx log message and str mb string. Right? So that will convert a w string to a regular C++ string, and then output that. Okay, and then let's save it. So next step, we're going to create enum for our button. So enum id ok button click is equal to 1. Right? Then I need to create a event table. So wx begin event table my frame wx frame and in this event table I'm gonna put event menu ID OK button click and it's gonna be my frame one on OK, click. Then I'm going to type in WX N event table and then save. So the next step is to go to no name.h and we need to declare wx declare event table and then save okay now go back to no name cpp and we need to implement uh, we have to declare wx implement app underscore app and we're going to call it my app which is the class we created up here okay so that should complete the entire implementation and then let's save so it's time to compile our code so let's minimize Visual Studio Code and go to this folder and launch a terminal from here.
Okay, so let's list the files in the in this working directory. As you can see here is no name.cpp, no name.h, and the example widget.fpp file. And to compile the code, we say g no name.cpp wx config cxx flags dash dash libs and then dash o and then the executable name so we're going to call this example widget and we have an error okay so we have an error let's go into Visual Studio Code and apparently we're missing a semicolon here and let's save this and come back to our terminal and recompile the code and it looks like it compiled this fine okay so now it's time to execute the program and as you can see here basically it's a GUI and there is a input box and an OK button and as soon as you click on OK you got the word hello world here filled in to the input text box and a pop-up saying that's hello world okay so that this is a very simple example of how you can create a GUI using WX form builder and WX bit uh, I'm sorry WX uh, widget and uh, so thank you very much for watching this video Please remember to subscribe and press like and to watch uh, more of these great videos.